Dear roboticists, let me introduce myself. I am Frank Hoffman from TU Dortmund University and the teacher of your course on mobile robots. Today's lecture delves deeper into the topic of robot homing. Robot motion control is concerned with robots finding their way back to a docking station or following a planned path. Today's video lecture focuses on understanding the core concepts of robot homing and exploring and analyzing the algorithm and methods that enable a robot to navigate towards a target pose. This lecture introduces and analyzes a simple homing behavior for a mobile robot. During the inverted classroom session, you're supposed to conceptualize a more advanced behavior. Let us embark on this exciting topic together. The scenario of a vacuum cleaning robot returning to its docking station provides an excellent example to motivate the robot homing problem. Once the robot reaches the vicinity of the docking station, precise maneuvering is required to align it correctly for charging. This involves fine-tuned control and sensing to ensure proper docking. Robot homing has several practical applications across various fields. Here are some of them. Charging stations for autonomous robots. In industries or households where robots perform tasks like cleaning or surveillance, they can autonomously return to their charging stations when their battery is low. This ensures minimal human intervention and continuous operation. Warehouse management. In large warehouses, robots equipped with homing behavior can return to a designated home location for reloading, maintenance, or standby improving efficiency in logistics and inventory management. Agricultural robots. In farming, robots can be used for tasks like planting, weeding, or harvesting. They can return to a home base for refueling or maintenance, reducing the need for human labor in repetitive tasks. The path-following problem for a mobile robot requires the robot being able to follow a specified path accurately. The problem formulation involves Path definition The path the robot must follow is usually defined by a series of waypoints or a continuous curve P. Robot kinematics The robot must be able to move in a way that is compliant with its kinematics to stay on or return to the path. Control algorithm a control algorithm computes the necessary adjustments in the robot's steering omega and velocity v to correct deviations from the path. Sensors and feedback. The robot typically uses sensors to perceive its environment and its position relative to the path, providing feedback to the control algorithm. Motion control is concerned with tracking a feasible reference path. Think about the robot at the current pose x, y, theta following a virtual robot that describes a reference trajectory. The virtual robot's pose x, r, y, r, theta, r is located at the closest point on the reference path. The error can be split up into a lateral position error e, y and an orientation error e, theta. The controller regulates both errors to zero such that the robot regains the path. The control law C maps the errors E y and E theta onto the controls linear velocity V and angular velocity omega. Let us briefly recall the unicycle kinematic model. The robot is moving in a planar world. Its state is described by its position in the plane x and y and its orientation theta with respect to a global x-axis. The kinematic model relates the time derivatives of the state vector dot x dot y dot theta with the controls linear velocity v and turn rate omega. x dot is equal to v times cosine theta. y dot is equal to v times sine theta. And theta dot is equal to omega. Our vacuum cleaning robot is a differential drive robot actuated by two independent driven wheels on a common axle. If you map the left and right wheel velocities VR and VL onto the unicycle controls V and omega, the differential drive kinematic model becomes equivalent to the unicycle model. 
Later we will utilize the unicycle kinematic model for analyzing the stability of the closed-loop homing behavior. Robot homing constitutes a special, simpler instance of trajectory following, in which a static target pose replaces the path. The objective of homing is to guide the robot from its initial pose xr, yr, theta r, towards a static goal pose xg, yg, theta g. The controller generates controls v and omega that eventually navigate the robot to its goal through a sequence of intermediate poses. We distinguish between homing for position only and homing with full pose. In the former case, the robot can approach the goal from any direction as its final orientation is irrelevant and only its position xg and yg matter. Homing with full pose requires precise maneuvering as the robot is supposed to reach the goal pose with a specific orientation. As an example consider a vacuum cleaning robot whose electric contacts have to align with the contacts of its docking station for charging. Notice that homing with full pose constitutes an under-actuated control task, as the robot only possesses two local degrees of freedom but has to regulate three global degrees of freedom. The origin of the robot frame with respect to the world frame is expressed by XR and YR, respectively the origin of the goal frame by XG and YG. The angle theta R denotes the orientation between the robot X-axis, XR, and the global X-axis, XW. The position error EX and EY with respect to the robocentric frame is obtained by rotating the error vector in the global frame XG minus XR, and YG minus YR, by the angle theta R, and XG minus X, R denotes the orientation to the goal in the world frame. The orientation to the robocentric frame is obtained by subtracting the robot's orientation theta R from the previous global direction to the goal. The control's linear velocity v and turn rate omega regulate the position error rho and alpha. The linear velocity is proportional to the distance from the goal. The turn rate omega compensates the orientation error alpha. Both errors converge exponentially to zero, with the rate of convergence depending on the gains k rho and k alpha. This slide illustrates the closed loop behavior under the linear control law for eight initial poses located to the west, east, north, south, northeast, northwest, southeast, and southwest of the goal position in the center. The robot is initially headed towards the east. In the western start pose, the robot is already heading towards the goal, whereas for the eastern pose, it has to complete a half turn to eventually reach the goal. Observe the exponential convergence in distance and heading. For poses with the goal located in the rear half plane the robot initially moves away from the goal, before it reduces the heading error to less than pi over 2. As a starting point for the stability analysis, let us consider the robot kinematics in polar coordinates, rho and alpha. The kinematic model captures the time derivative of rho and alpha as a function of the state rho and alpha itself and the controls v and omega. Rho dot is equal to minus v cosine alpha. For constant v, rho decreases at the highest rate if the robot is headed towards the goal with alpha equals zero. The evolution of the orientation alpha is governed by Alpha dot is equal to V sine alpha over rho, minus omega. The first term V sine alpha over rho captures the change in alpha due to the translational movement of the robot. The second term minus omega is caused by the rotation along the vertical axis. Also recall the control law. V equals K V rho. Omega equals K omega alpha. 
To investigate the stability of the closed loop system, we substitute the controls V and omega in the kinematic model by the right hand sides of the control law. Equals KV rho and K omega alpha. Let us embark on analyzing the stability of the closed loop behavior. We obtain the dynamics of the closed loop system by substituting the controls V and omega in the kinematic model by the right hand sides of the control law KV rho and K omega alpha. This results in rho dot is equal to minus KV rho cosine alpha and alpha dot is equal to KV sine alpha minus k omega alpha. Let us linearize the closed loop dynamics at the equilibrium state rho and alpha equals zero. For small alpha values, the first order Taylor expansion of cosine alpha is equal to one. The first order Taylor expansion of sine alpha is equal to alpha. The linearized system of equations is given by Rho dot is equal to KV rho and alpha dot is equal to KV minus K omega times alpha. The two linear equations are decoupled and local stability can be guaranteed if KV larger than zero and K omega larger than KV. Notice that we cannot conclude the robot's final orientation theta at the goal under the simple control law for homing. This concludes our analysis of the stability of simple homing. During the in-class session you will investigate a control that regulates the robot's final orientation at the goal to a desired reference heading. Dear Roboticists, I hope that you obtained valuable first insights into the concepts and methods for robot homing. Please take notes and answer the questions on the worksheet in order to prepare yourself for the inverted classroom session. There you will design and analyze and implement an advanced control law for homing with position and orientation. Looking forward to an interactive and enlightening session in class with all of you.